to the entrepreneurs, investors, and venture capitalists who had built or are building agro-processing projects, petrochemical plants, crude oil and solid mineral refineries, energy exploration, software development projects, telecom infrastructure, health, education, and manufacturing projects, and the like across our country. I would like to make sufficient mention to promoters of our small businesses that are proudly making goods and services for export and for local consumption. The Nigerian economy rises and falls on the strength of your investment and productivity. We will continue to listen to your ideas and plans not just about how we can secure more investment, but how your plans can help create more equitable economy. I also thank the labor unions, farmer groups, and associations, organized private sector, and the civil society organization for their support and cooperation with our government these last four years. We will continue to count on your support, guidance, and understanding during the next four years. I especially thank our traditional leaders and congratulate re-elected and newly elected state governors and members of the National Assembly. Our government will continue to count on your support so that we can together move our country forward. Fellow Nigerians, your highnesses, your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, despite these challenges over the last four years, my optimism about Nigeria's future is unshakable, and Nigeria's role in the world as an emerging economic force is without doubt. Over the next four years, we are committed to assembling a strong team of Nigerians and allies to implement our transformative plans and proposals. A, we will see significant focus, resource, and where necessary reform in tertiary and technical education to reposition Nigerian workforce for the modern technological age. We will accelerate investment in primary, secondary, tertiary healthcare programs, intervention, and infrastructure, as well as an upgrading of our medical personnel to stem the flight of our best trained people. On food security, our farmers have made great strides in local production of rice, maize, cassava, poultry, fertilizer, fisheries, and system. We remain resolved resolute in supporting private sector in emphasizing backward integration and export expansion plans. Planning of trees to provide energy for domestic use is taking its toll on our rainforests, our ecology, and our climate. Accordingly, we are taking steps to harness cleaner and more sustainable source of electricity. We export more than two million tons of cooking gas, yet we consume less than half a million tons. E, we will work to address this issue and support rural communities with challenges of safety switching from firewood to cooking gas. F, dedicated agro-industrial processing zones will be developed on a PPP basis to increase farming yields, agricultural productivity, and industrial output. G, over 2,000 kilometers of ongoing federal road and bridge project across the country will be completed to reduce journey times and the cost of doing business. As I mentioned earlier, critical feeder roads will be built to facilitate earlier, easier transportation for people and goods for rural areas to make roads. H, we have, we are at advanced.
final stage of sequential investment to modernize and expand our transmission and distribution infrastructure, ensuring that electricity is available and affordable for all Nigerians. I, several rail, seaport, and airport projects are at various stages of completion. We will open the address of transportation nationwide. J, it is a fact that Nigeria has more gas reserves than it has oil. Over the last four years, we have become a net exporter of urea, which is made from natural gas. We invite investors to develop more natural gas-based petrochemical projects. Okay, fellow Nigerians, this government will not tolerate actions by any individual or groups of individuals who seek to attack our way of life, or those who seek to corruptly enrich themselves at the expense of the rest of us. We will crack down on those who incite ordinary innocent people to violence and unrest. We will ensure that such actions are met with the strong arm of the law. Nation building takes time. But we must take solace in the knowledge that this country, our country, has everything we require to make Nigeria prosper. Fellow Nigerians, your highnesses, your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to join me in this journey of rebuilding our nation. Our focus will not be to help the privileged few, but to ensure that Nigeria work for Nigerians of all persuasions, that is a more just arrangement. As we all know, correcting injustice is a prerequisite for peace and unity. As part of the process of healing and reconciliation, I approve the recognition of June 12 as Democracy Day and invest the late Chief Habiola and Babagana Kingibe with national honors, as I did with late Chief Ghani Perhemi. The purpose was to partially atone for the previous damage done in annulling the presidential elections of that year. Today, I propose the renaming of the Abuja National Stadium henceforth. It will be called Mashud Abiola National Stadium. In my first term, we put Nigeria back on its feet. We are working again despite a difficult environment in oil on which we depend too much for our export. We encountered huge resistance from vested interests who do not want change, but change has come. We now must move to the next level. By the grace of God, I intend to keep oath I have taken today and to serve as president for all Nigerians. I thank you for attending this August occasion from far and near, and for all your best wishes to me, to our party, and to Nigeria. God bless us all. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.